Congratulations, Tottenham, on winning 2-2. Two to two. Yes, winning 2-2 two to two because that is just about might as what it might as well have been here. Um, Allegri, what are you doing? Allegri, once, you know, UV went up 2-0 after just seven minutes, he seemed to approach the second half as a sort of, okay, let's ride this out, let's play, let's put more at the back, and let's just take this into the second leg, two to one. No, no, you, you don't. You don't do that. You just don't. You don't do that. First of all, this is just as much of an Italian bottle job as of I've seen. Higuain. It was a tale of two. Uh, it was a tale, a tale of two halves here, really, right for Gonzalo Higuain. Completely on fire in the first opening fifteen minutes. Arguably, should have put them three nil up. Towards the end of the of the of the uh, second half, not just before uh, the penalty, before the penalty, when Harry Kane, when Buffon made a great save off of Harry Kane's strike, you saw that Juve picked the ball up quickly, and they started hitting uh, Tottenham on the counter. Could have made it three nil, and then the missed penalty speaks for itself, up off the crossbar. Though it looks like Lor Hugo Lloris might have gotten a hand to it anyway. Uh, we'll never know, but could have went to the half. Easily 3-0, three 3-1 nil, three up. Um, that said, Harry Kane had a moment early on, in about the 22nd minute, when he should have scored as well to make it 1-1. One, one. And then there's the whole question of whether or not Higuain's first goal, whether he was in an offside position. He seemed as if he might have been just, but it's a matter for debate. I'm not sure. But, I mean, my goodness. Once it became 2-0, I wanted to change the channel because... I thought, you know, you know, this is pretty much over, you know, especially if Juve gets a third one, which they came cl very close to doing so twice. Uh, the, the whole tie would have been over. You know, you wouldn't even have to watch the uh, the second leg. I mean, okay, so let's say Higuain converts one of those two chances that he missed. They get 3-0. Maybe Tottenham pulls one back. Go into the second leg. Can Tottenham beat Juve? Coming from behind 3-1 to one on aggregate down? Maybe, but it's unlikely. So, you know, Higuain, you saw the very best of him in this game, and you saw sort of him reverting back to that old Higuain that he's known for, sort of the, uh, the Argentine Higuain. But, you know, the penalty miss... It just, it just spelled a bad omen for Juventus for what was to come uh, in the second half. And then from then on, Tottenham just just took complete control of the game. They could have uh, they could have stolen it at the end, in my opinion. They could have won this. Um, I think what happened here, though, was Allegri, in the second 45 minutes, he just got his tactics completely wrong. He decided to shift position and close up shop a little bit too early. Um... And even when you have a lead, even it, it, when you have a tenuous lead, like two to one, you just don't you just don't do that. It's just too risky because number one, like I said, you you head into the second leg, the two one uh, lead on aggregate. That you have to consider the away goals rule uh, comes into effect here because Tottenham can very much squeeze out a one goal margin victory at home. And then they progress on the away goals rule. They win next week 1-0. They go through. So I'm not really sure that Allegri's gamble here paid off. I think that what they should have done, Juventus should have kept up the same tempo. They should have kept up the same aggression that they displayed in the first half. Maybe, you know, make it three. And then at that point, it's very unlikely that Tottenham comes back next week no matter what form uh, they're in. So, I don't know. I just think that... Um, I, th I just think Allegri got this completely wrong. I think he got it completely wrong. I don't know if he got complacent towards the end or if he thought it was pretty much over, but uh, it, just, it just wasn't smart. It wasn't the right move. So, what do you think of this match? Uh, what's your early prediction for the second leg next week? I think Tottenham now have to be considered the favorite to come through. They have to be considered the, fav the favorite now because Juve most likely has to win. 
Um, the only way I can see Tottenham completely bottling this would be if they pull a PSG from last year and they just they're just content to put numbers behind the ball. They don't care. They don't seek to score. But I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, you you have to think that Pochettino is going to have these guys seeking to score goals next week. They get just one goal. Juventus is a big big trouble. The only way Juventus comes through this tie about an 80% chance that they will have to win it next week. 1-1 one, one draw won't be enough. 2-2 two, two will push it to extra time. But, I mean, how likely are we going to see a, uh, a, a a draw of a score line of 3-3 three, three or higher? I don't know. I think it's unlikely. So I think Tottenham have to be considered favorites now to go through. Leave a comment below.